G'day everyone, Vicar of Dover here. I did once apply to go on Mastermind, but they didn't like my special subject. Today I want to talk to you about leadership and about following. Author S.I. McMillan tells the story of a young uni applicant whose heart sank when she saw a question on her uni application asking, are you a leader? Being both honest and conscientious, she wrote no and sent her application back expecting to be rejected. Surprisingly, she was accepted and she received this letter back. Dear applicant, a study of the application forms reveals that this year our uni will have 1,452 new leaders. We are accepting you because we feel it is imperative that they have at least one follower. It's ironic that in our world today, where everyone lusts for power and influence, our desire to be leaders enslaves us. And we become more unhappy and we become more lonely as we try to lead the world. In Mark chapter 5, Jesus meets a demon-possessed man. He literally has an army of demons inside of him. Jesus, with a word, casts out the demons and they go to their destruction. But then the man in his right mind comes and sits at Jesus' feet and begs Jesus to allow him to follow him. Jesus goes one better and tells him to follow him by going back to his people and telling them the good news of all God has done for him. Jesus makes this man the first non-Jewish evangelist, the first non-Jewish apostle, and allows him to go out into the world and to share the good news as a follower of Jesus. May this story remind us of the privilege of following Jesus and being a disciple. May we never forget how blessed we are to be able to follow Jesus and to be his disciples.